Tulsa, Oklahoma, home to the Tulsa Golden Hurricane in Skelly Field, where the fans have gathered and they are ready to see those Hurricanes gather some strength. Today, two teams get set to square off in an intra-conference battle in the AAC. As we'll see, the Army Black Knights taking on the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Tulsa will kick off and we'll get this game started. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Army Black Knights offense takes the field. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football. Finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available. But you're not playing with one arm behind your back. you got all guns blazing. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. He'll ride his man on the option. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. They'll need three yards here on third down to keep this opening drive alive. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Black Knights will line up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. So the Tulsa Golden Hurricane offense comes out and they'll take over for the first time in this one. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. The give to the tailback. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. He'll pull it on the read. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. Using his legs, it's Watkins. Got room at the 35. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. They're going to ride this running back. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. 
Trying to surprise him with the pass. Quickly complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest. And you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Back to throw, it's Francis. He's right on target. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. Tulsa will come to the line on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Tulsa! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He shows you all of his ability on that TV. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. They'll run the option. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And the big fella, you know, usually blocks, but has a nice little run and met by the strong safety. He's called the strong safety for a reason. Those guys are, you know, oversized safeties that are really strong. They're usually strong tacklers. Did a good job getting the big fellow to the ground. Just gave up a little too many yards. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, that was just like trying to run through a traffic jam. No place for the big fella to go. Yeah, that's the whole key, Reese. You can't let the big fella get some steam. So you got to stop him in his tracks right away. The only way you do that is with penetration up front. The Black Knights send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing everything seems to be working and you seem to have this defense on their heels didn't get much on first down it's second and nine they'll go right back to him a confident tough efficient run gets it up to the 44 Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. To the air, it's Francis. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the right. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. 
And because the receiver was able to drive back to the QB on that curl route against man coverage, he was able to create a little bit of separation between him and the defender, and that was a big key in getting that first down. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Didn't get much done on that, Ryan. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Looking for a gap. It's Watkins. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. With the catch, it's Benjamin. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking downfield, it's Francis. Finds his tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Grab behind the line. It's Presley. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Give to the running back. Powers through the defender. Pickup of one, it's down at the 11. They'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. 
Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, be able to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Fires to the tight end. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. And the Black Knights will send out the punt unit. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. The give to the back. Turns it on in midfield. Powers through. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. They had hoped to come up with explosive plays, and they use one there to set him up inside the 30, first and 10. Might as well give it to him again. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. Man, this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on. What a run getting his offense down close to the goal line. So nice creating explosive runs in the run game. Now you're getting in the red inside the five. Go punch this in and get a touchdown. Tulsa will come to the line on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Second and goal for the offense. Try to barge their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Here comes the option. He'll keep it himself. He has the first and still on his feet. 
Nice job to keep it himself, find the first down marker, and move the change for this offense. I love the decision to keep the football on the option right there. That reminds me of Ahmad Bradshaw, who recently at Army member led him to a 10-win season, set a single-season record with over 1,700 rushing yards, did it from the quarterback position because he made good decisions, knew when to keep the football, was keying, and had his eyes where they needed to be. That's exactly what this guy just showed you on that last play. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play, fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. On the option. And the ball is free on the pitch. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. That's the end of the period, and Tulsa has the lead. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Looking to throw, it's Daly. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And a nice grab with a defender right on him, and he's down at the 20. Well, that's a great job by the wide receiver there on a critical down. Third down, running the curl route, coming back to the football, making the catch, and picking up the first. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. The option look. Quarterback on the keeper. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Looking to buy time. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Which is a really nice job there on that third down, trying to get after this quarterback. And obviously, they're not able to make the play in the backfield, but really nice job pursuing. You see the athleticism and the speed they have, how they play as a unit together. Only giving up a little bit of a gain and now setting up fourth down. It's good. Easy call for the refs. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Right back to the well. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. To the air, it's Francis. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They'll stop him at the 31. Let's mark it off at five yards, and that will be a first down. Offensively, I mean, are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. He'll do it himself. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run play action. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. Well, I don't know if the big fella got freaked out because he was so wide open on that play, but that is a catch he has got to make for his quarterback. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here, just don't take a negative play. To the air, it's Francis. And the third down pass is incomplete. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Using his legs, it's Robinson. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll power it inside with the fullback. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Running back goes in motion. On the option. 
They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. The Black Knights will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. On first down, here comes this offense. On the option, it's Daly. And he probably should have left that one with the back as he is just smashed in the backfield. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contain. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. Now on the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Wants to throw, it's Daly. And they can't make the connection on third down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And the Black Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a run. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Tulsa wasting no time. They'll give it to him again. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Man, there's not a running back in the country that doesn't want to get fed and get fed and get fed. And he has been. He's been fed, and now he's up to 150 yards. So great productive day for this running back and create a lot of balance on this offense. On the ground, it's Watkins. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. On third down, going up top. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. 
They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Goes to the option. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to throw, it's Daly. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Black Knights getting set on first and ten. He'll pull it on the read. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Nice job there by the QB on the zone read because he's watching the D lineman and he knows he has to keep the football and then he right away takes it upfield to get some positive yards. Offense gets set for second down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And I think a lot of times when offenses run these counters, you're going to fake one way, right? Pull guys the other direction. If you can get some penetration really quickly, get behind those pullers, you got a chance to get in the backfield just like right there and create a TFL. And the defense gets to the quarterback. That's a bad sign for the offense. You're trying to throw screen passes to try to negate the pass rush from the defense. That time, the pass rush even got home on a screen pass. And the Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Here's the fair catch, but there is a flag on the field. We might have to do this one again. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Now on second down. Now on the move. And he could not get loose on the run. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Unloads to the wideout. On target to the left. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Now on the counter. Shakes off the tackler. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%. Especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming. Keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
They're trying to run the football. And there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. Back to throw, it's Daly. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Not quite in rhythm there, incomplete. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. The Black Knights decide to punt it away. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Pollock, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this defense gets to go in at halftime to potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. Dialing up a second down pass play. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. When I'm an offensive coach, I'm going to take shots. I'm going to take those 50-50 balls. And most of the time, I'm going to trust my wide receiver to come down with it. The defensive back said, no, sir. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Let's it slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, and now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. To throw, it's Daly. This time, he's got his man. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Third down coming up after the completion. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Black Knights line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse did love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break. And why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute throwing and running the football game. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now before the half? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. Big play like that to open a drive just builds the confidence. Now first down from the 46. He wants to throw. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Hey, listen. The quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trust in your playmakers outside 
to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. Looking to throw, it's Francis. Got it set up on the outside. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Listen, I know this running back is shifty. I know he's really good in the open field, but that's just asking too much of him at this point. Third and long situation. He wasn't going to be able to make that extra guy miss uh, trying to get that first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters today from gorgeous Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's head back to the guys inside H.A. Chapman Stadium. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. Pulls and fires complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking for space. It's Watkins. Facing a third and long. Looking to pass. It's Francis. Looking down the middle. He's got an open man. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat them. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Power football with the run. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we could put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run. Another good run. Another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. A third and long coming up here. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. It is perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. 
Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50 plus, and he did it with ease. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. On the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Black Knights will punt this one away. to move returns going to get it up around midfield he'll be down at the 49 yard line the golden hurricane offense comes back onto the field you want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive david that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal yeah, and listen important is a relative term we need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Back to throw, it's Francis. Working on the right. And that's where they'll mark him, but a very productive play, and they'll move the chains. When you get man-to-man -man coverage and you're running that curl, I got to sell him deep. I got to get a little bit of space where I can make him think, I'm running deep, running deep. And then I sit down real quick, QB, wide receiver on the same page, first down. Going up top on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Benjamin. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. That last completion sets him up on second down. On the run, it's Watkins. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Oh, and he just flat dropped it. You do not see this guy do that very often. It'll be fourth down. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal, showing off that powerful leg.
They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. How do you not respect the big fellas? This doesn't take you back in the time machine to the days when a fullback was on the field every single play. Then you're missing out because fullbacks are awesome. They're just low maintenance. They're not divas like wide receivers. They just block most of the time, don't say much. And then you give them the football, and occasionally you get some big plays like this, and they hit somebody so hard they got snot bubbles coming out of their nose. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. He'll keep it himself. Running with power. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Running back searching for a hole. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run the option. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Dropping back, it's Daly. Fires to the right. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And the Black Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll try to really get into this one. And that is textbook instructional video. Out of bounds right around the goal line. From his end zone, trying to loosen up this knee. Caught over the middle. It's Presley. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. You run the slant route day one, and this is something that the quarterback and the wide receiver has done a hundred million times out there on the field in the offseason. I see man-to-man -man coverage. I know I can run the slant. Boom. Stick my foot in the ground, throw it, completion to my wide receiver. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll try to get outside. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He's got enough, and it'll be a first down for Tulsa. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. 
He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Francis. Got his man quickly. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? Quarterback on the keeper. He's got enough, and it'll be a first down for Tulsa. So far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs are finding the holes. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. Fast motion from the offense. The receiver on the jet sweep. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They put this ball on lockdown. Eight play of the drive coming up. Off play action. Unloads it downfield. It's complete. A huge pickup. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You can't let the same guy beat you over and over and over again. You got to make adjustments. Sometimes you got to bring more guys in the box, more guys to the football, and make sure he's not the one who beat you. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking downfield, it's Francis. Finds his man down the middle. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They're just handing the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No sir, no Moss. Get it together. They'll try to pick up the first. He breaks a tackle. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. That's the mindset of this entire offense. They're not going to let you off the hook just because it's fourth and one. And that running back, he wanted the ball, too. You could see there right after the third down play, looking at a sideline saying, give me the ball. I want to go get this. I'm going to make a play for my team. And he comes through big time. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, Listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. They'll give it to the back. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. All right, they've shown this formation a lot of times, and especially in the first half. Now what do they do? They show the formation, pull some guys and run a counter backside. Beautiful play design. Way to adjust in the second half. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Dropping back, it's Francis. Looking for the score. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. 
Man, these windows get tighter down here in the red zone, and those catches are a little bit more contested, more people near you, and it gets a little bit more difficult. But you need your players to step up for your QB and make big plays. I think he's going to look back and say, I should have made that play. And it's right down the boulevard. And now the lead's extended a little far. They tacked that last score on just for good measure as they are getting oh so close to putting this one away. The kickoff is coming. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They'll get this drive going from the 17. On the run, it's Robinson. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. And come on now, O-line. you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one that gets you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Robinson. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week and after an explosive play like that maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game and maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that and what a nice play by the DB you have to understand that wide receiver gets that ball that quick it's tough to get him on the ground nice job getting a hold of him getting him on the ground for no gain second down coming up Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback is snowed under. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Back to pass. It's Daly. Moves away as he feels pressure. This senior quarterback never afraid to run it when he has to pick up a first down. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. The Black Knights have this offense rolling. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Got to give this defense credit, guys, because all game long, they have forced their opponent to be one-dimensional. They haven't allowed anything to happen in the passing game. As a result, we're here in the fourth quarter. They barely allowed over 100 yards passing. He's looking for a man on second down. 
And he can't escape, and down he goes. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. And guys, they've come through on the first two third down tries. This one might be a little tougher. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Unloads to the right. He's got it. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Listen, you hear all the time about how important it is to stay on schedule offensively, right? And this is a perfect example. You just can't have negative plays early in drives because even when you come up with big plays like we just saw, you're still miles away from picking up this first down. You're making it so hard on your offense. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. He had nowhere to go with the football. You could tell, surveying the field, somebody's got to get open to go make a play. Man, throw it up. Run it. Do something. You can't take a sack on fourth down. you got to give somebody an opportunity to make a play for it. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up, Reese, and I like where I'm at. And if I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and get another score. Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on the board here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Francis. He's got his man. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Takes the handoff. It's Watkins. Gets behind those pads. Picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. They'll try to put a drive together, starting from their own 12. They're going to open this drive with a pass. He'll pull it down. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Here comes the offense on second down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Looking for a man. It's Daly. Trying to escape and get it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Second and short is a great situation to be in. And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, but he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. He's looking to throw it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And this has been one of those days you want to forget. I mean, you're getting drunk. 
There's no other way to put it. It's been a bad day. I'm trying to put a drive together here, maybe to just get some kind of momentum, something positive, maybe something in the locker room we can talk about that didn't go wrong. So now they'll try to mitigate that disaster on second down from the 15. He's looking to throw. Going for the big play. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. It's really hard to win football games when you're one-dimensional offensively, and that's the case. They just have not been able to get anything going, throwing it deep down the field. They haven't won their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Quarterback has missed some throws, and as a result, in the fourth quarter, they barely have 100 yards passing, and that's why they're losing. He only needs a sliver of daylight, and the punt team able to smack him to the ground. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They beat him again. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he needed one yard, and he didn't get it. The defense won the battle up front. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Perhaps emboldened by converting a fourth down earlier in the game, they'll try a second time. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the sticks. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Tulsa comes to the line with a first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Line getting set on second down. Scanning the field, it's Francis. Finds the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? Grab near the marker. It's Hall. And they bring him down, but did you see this freshman rifle that thing in there? He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working. They'll try the right side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in, they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, 
and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers. Fires toward the end zone. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. You have a big lead in the fourth quarter. When you do that, the only explanation for it is you're trying to send a message by sticking in another touchdown. Yeah, in saying, listen, it's your job to stop us, and right now we're eating you alive. So I think, you know, there's, there's some psychological warfare, right? There's some, I'm going to get in your head. There's some, I want to beat you on the recruiting trail and in the future, and, you know, kind of take that and a little, little rub their nose in it. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. They'll throw it on first down. Steps away to find some room. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And I bet the frustration meter for this offense is so high. If you can't keep your quarterback upright, it's hard to move the ball. It's hard to score points. This offensive line has not protected him at all. And that's why so many sacks keep happening. And now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off using his legs to buy some time and the pressure gets there and down he goes at the 18. and how about this offense man it's been a rough day you're getting beat down you're trying to find some kind of momentum late in the game to build something off of and you give up another sack And the Black Knights will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Typically, at this spot on the field, you make a fair catch. I'd call that risk aversive, but it is good field position. They want that clock to run. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Wide receiver shows motion. They go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. 
You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They'll need to get this one to the 31 here on third down. Back to pass. It's Francis. They're bringing heat. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home. That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Well, this has pretty much been an evisceration, an old-fashioned stomping, Jesse. Yeah, and, and listen, this is one of those games where you're not necessarily throwing the playbook in the trash after this one, but I do think this coaching staff, David, really has to be honest with themselves and rethink what schemes are working and not working and which guys maybe need to get more touches in this offense. Well, I think I like the trash option as well because it's been hot trash. This has been a bad day. Offense, defense, giving up a ton of points, not scoring near enough. So it's been a bad day you're going to want to forget. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Fires on the move. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. For the third straight play, the pass falls incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. The Black Knights send out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes the offense on first down. One back in the backfield, he gets the carry. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. 